Okay, we're now on to section number eight, which is all about the user interface initial design, uh, or what we're basically calling the design specification. Now, you have to, I've put down must here, uh, because there's no other way of understanding this. You have to look at page 15, 51, go through the activities and that, make sure you've had a lesson to go through that, have that copy in front of you if you have to. If you've got the uh, online version, then that's great, have a look at that. Uh, but first thing you need to do is there's, there's three main questions that you need to look at there, uh, which is first of all, you have to explain what a design specification is. So you need to give a sentence or two talking about what a design specification is. You have to prove to the examiner, the moderator, and your teacher that you know what that is. The second thing you need to do is explain why a design specification is important. Why do you have to have one before you start your project? What's the point? How could it help you? Yeah, because remember, whatever helps you means it will help you create a better product and that's important because you're working for someone or you're pretending to be working for someone I mean in the real world um, you'd be, you'd be hired and you'd be paid for your time and these kind of jobs that you know we're talking about thousands of pounds so you want to make sure that when you go back to your, your client which is the in this case the doctor surgery uh, that you're not going there with a um, uh, you know less than par or unsatisfactory product it needs to look beautiful it needs to be amazing it needs to be perfect because your product is a reflection on you and the company that you work for. So, you know, getting it right first time round is important. Now, that's not to say that, you know, you can't get feedback in between, uh, obviously going back to the iteration um, method of working, but you have to have certain things in place beforehand. So, first things first, what is the design specification? Why do you have to have one beforehand? How does it help you? Then, you need to discuss what the requirements are. So, what requirements does the design specification need to meet? So, what does the design specification need to do basically okay so your design specification will outline some of the key things that you need to do for you to be successful in this project okay now if you haven't realized already uh, learning aim a was all about research learning aim b which is this here is about your planning how you're going to plan what you're going to do how you're going to do it we haven't done it yet this is all about you organizing your ideas. This is the brainstorm. This is the blueprint. This is the design before you even do it. So three main questions there, like I said, have a look at uh, page 50 to 51. Make sure you answer those questions.